Hi, Mike Morse again, and we're here at Super Gaming, and I'm showing off something pretty exciting. Um, geeks love this box, and I'm a geek, so this is our biggest tower. This is the 7920. Um, so this box is really interesting. You've got, of course, two sockets. You can have the biggest Xeons out there, biggest platinum class Xeon processors out there. We've got up to three terabytes of RAM, which is an insane amount of memory. We've got a couple hot swap and two drives, and then we also over here, you can put a total of 12 drives in this box, so you can have a heck of a lot of storage. And, you know, this is becoming the star of the show for AI and all these other workloads. You can have three double wide GPUs or four single wides, and this is interesting because a lot of people wonder, well, why would you have three? Isn't it odd to have kind of two and on one and one on the other? Well, interestingly enough, a lot of discussions we're having right now if you're doing deep learning or something like that, then you're gonna, you know, throw the workload off on two, maybe a quad RTX 8000 or 6000, and this we're showing a couple different ones. And these GPUs then become like 90% utilized. These GPUs are working full time. Meanwhile, the CPUs aren't really as utilized. They have cycles open, and then you have another GPU to be doing other things. So a lot of these organizations we're talking about, maybe they're doing visualization. At the same time, these GPUs are busy doing training. So it really actually works out to have another GPU to help them, because that's what happens with these workstations sometimes. These training jobs can take a long time, and guess what? The workstations don't, don't just sit idle while they're doing that. But this way, they can actually have these guys working full-time doing one thing, and they can have this guy doing another thing. So it works out pretty well. Pretty good architecture. And then, of course, this behemoth is our 17-inch 7740, precision 7740, which basically delivers desktop-grade performance in a laptop, right? So this guy can have up to a quarter RTX 5000 GPU which is a lot of power. And, and uh, of course, you got a Xeon processor, ECC memory, everything. So this is really, this is a workstation. And we got a 15-inch version of this as well, you know, slightly slower. Uh, but this is another thing that, uh, you know, folks at supercomputing really like. They like having power, and the fact that they can have this power in a, in a portable form factor works.